Would you sell the game separately or is it all just together? I can sell them separately. How, mu how much would you ask? Uh, I haven't thought about it. No. Uh, what, what would you offer? Uh, I don't know. Let me. No, I don't want to like bring my phone. Five? Microphone. Would that work? Um, I might want to keep it with the Yeah, I understand. Uh, controller. Oh, yes. Okay, I understand. No worries. Thank you, though. Yeah. Thanks for making a few it, though. Yeah, so <laughs> I figured I'd ask. Could I ask how much this is? Um, it's five dollars. Okay, cool, thanks. What I, what I bought a movie. Look at that one. Look at that one. What do you got here? Um, whatever you want. Dollar you want. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> a quarter in the market, I mean. Thank you. Yep. How much was that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you do 10 for that all in the desk? That is the Yeah. 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 Oh, like back over there. Yeah, I think I've seen your car, yeah. Yeah, my car's here once in a while. If I can have all those doors, I can put it in the hallway. Uh, Kevin, we're actually You're moving. moving. Yeah, uh, next Friday. So, are you renting or do you own Yeah, we're renting. Do you mind if we're here? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Wow, I'd like to. Talk to you about working on it. How much are you going to be here? How long are you going to be here? Uh, well, maybe it'll be in another lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of it. Would you mind if I make a little pile right here? Yeah, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you? Oh, cool, thank you. Uh, oh. Mm, that's not it. <laughs> well, these are some booklets for some things. Oh, awesome. I don't know if those are over there or not. You don't have to take it. No, that's really cool, thank you. There's more stuff. I appreciate it, I hope not. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and I had some of the uh, bigger ships that were like this big. Oh, yeah. I didn't see them in my basement when I was clearing them out. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs>
is she 15? How much is the box of like the stuff um, that's sort of sat on top of there, the same make as her? Um, I think it's got some like clothes and stuff in it. Uh, no, sorry, the one that's like perched oh, on top of that one, yeah. Um, I don't know, it's just like a bunch of accessories, I think. Yeah. Uh, hadn't, hadn't thought about it. You can just make an offer. Uh, would and you if do... you're buying other stuff, then... Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, would you do maybe like her in the box for 20 all together? Would that be good? Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. All right, I think I'm ready. Okay. I'll show you what I found. And then I got, I think it said three a piece, so mm -hmm. that would be 12. This one had one on it, so 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Is that right? Probably. Right, right, right about 25. And then the 45 altogether work? Sure. Okay, awesome. Thank you. That's good. Yeah. We're moving and mostly just trying to cut down on stuff. Oh, I know the feeling, yeah. There we go, thank, thank you. you. I yeah, really appreciate sure. it. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. Do you happen to have change for 10, by chance? Yeah, what are thank you? Thank you, uh, $3 for him. Oh, sure. Thank you. That will be seven. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. I appreciate it. Oh, you gave me eight. Here oh. you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Have a good one. All right, you guys, welcome to the whole portion of the video where I show you what I picked up at today's yard sale. So we are crammed into my garage. No judgment. I've got piles of stuff to donate over there, piles of stuff to list behind me. We have found a spot and we're going to work with it. So um, today's yard sale was a fun one for me. It was filled with nostalgia. Absolutely all of the stuff that I just love to find like out there in the wild. Um, and I'm excited to share it with you. So uh, let's get started down here. So this is one of those funny yard sales where all of the like newer stuff was priced quite high. Like he had a newer um, figure that I think was from the Disney store, judging by the label. And that was sort of priced at 20. But all of these older toys from the 90s, they were all marked, as you can see here, like two or three dollars a piece so uh totally happy with that this is the kind of stuff i would prefer to pick up anyway so let's start with the star trek stuff we just have like a load of bits and bobs really and i'm gonna have to figure out exactly what everything is i do have a few like manuals and instruction uh sheets here i actually almost didn't get those he sort of said to me as i was checking out with him um that you know oh, if i like that kind of stuff maybe i want to take these with me as well and i'm glad that he did because they actually correspond to the pieces so that's really helpful you know reselling and um, having those pieces to go with it okay so we have this first of all which is a starfleet personal communicator and um, this one is not doing super well. I paid, I think, like two dollars, like one or two dollars for it. Um, they still go kind of like new in the box for like 20 or 25 or so. So not a huge score there, but I'm still glad I kind of threw it in. I may lot it up with something else. I have a couple of what I can only assume are phases. I don't know. I'm not a Trekkie. I'm, I'm on the Star Wars team. So this is all stuff that like I'm not familiar with, but I will figure it out. I have faith that I will. Um, so we have a couple of different things and they're all marked, by the way, Paramount Pictures in the 90s. This one is 92. We have like a 1990, 1996, you know the drill. Here is a second one as well. Again, don't know if I'll be lotting some of these up, but I will make sure to put some comps up here as well so you can kind of see what I'm working with. And um, we have like a gun of some kind. Again, a Paramount picture, so it's still in the Star Trek family, I believe. And the same with this one here as well. I just need to find the exact kind of models for comps. And then these are what really caught my eye because I was able to look up the comps like while I was there on this one, I think it was, and they were super promising. So that's kind of what spurred me to go ahead and grab all of the Star Trek items since they were so cheap. So we have a Starfleet tricorder and then obviously like I have the instructions and I have like two different versions of 
whatever this communication device is. Um, again, both from the 90s, like 1993, I think that one is. Like I said, the comps are super promising and I just need to test them now and basically see if they are working, but definitely worth taking a gamble on for $2. Okay, next I got a couple of Polly Pockets. Oh my goodness, this is like the ultimate nostalgia find for me. Uh, I grew up in the time of Polly Pockets and Mighty Max and all that good stuff and it just all the memories came flooding back. I actually have not found them, I don't think, in the wild, um, but once. And at that time, the person was asking for like 25 a piece. So I couldn't do that. But for $3 a piece, I totally can. So um, we have this one here, which is, I don't even know what this is supposed to be, but it, they do not have most of them, like any of the dolls, which is to be expected because those are the things that do like, you know, disappear over time with kids. Um, but they are also what makes a lot of these pieces the most valuable. Go figure. Also, it's always worth looking on the back to check the date. So this is 1990 and having the word Bluebird in your title also helps solidify this as a true vintage piece when listing it online. We have this one here, which is very much like the classic sort of standard one. And it does come with one of the little dolls. And the last one is the ballerina version. Unfortunately, it is not ballerina Polly that is back there, just a different one, but that is still absolutely fine and it will still sell. Okay, this is totally on a whim and it definitely needs to be laundered because it has some uh, stains and stuff, but it's just, I think a vintage apron. It says mom cat and then it just has this like rather startled looking cat with her kitten on the front. Um, it does have like a little artist reference down here. So I'll have to look that up, but just the pure novelty is what grabbed me with this piece. And for a dollar, I went ahead and grabbed it. All right, over here real quick, I have a couple of plush, pay $3 a piece. This one is a 1991 um, 101 Dalmatians plush by Disney. This one is actually for my kids. They I left the sale and they sent me back for it. So uh, he's ours now and I need to give him a bath. And then this one uh, was just kind of on a whim. It is Disney as well from the early 90s. 90s and it's Raja from uh, Aladdin but unfortunately he is not doing super well maybe like 15 or so on him okay and the final item is this lady over here uh, who I have to figure out I'm thinking Samantha but I don't know um, I'm gonna have to figure out exactly who she is if you feel like helping let me know this is what she looks like so she is an American girl doll but she's marked on the back Pleasant Company which I believe correct me if I'm wrong means that she is vintage because that's before Mattel bought them out and took over American Girl again let me know if I I am incorrect in that thinking, but that's what my research led me to think. So I paid a total of $20 for this lot right here. So I have the doll and she's in nice shape overall. Like she doesn't have um, any breakages. She doesn't have much in the way of like stains or anything like that. She also came with this bed, which is also Pleasant Company and the mattress and bedding also marked Pleasant Company. And then there was a box of accessories. Unfortunately, some of the accessories were like not so much. They were like little handmade things or things that belong to like other toys and stuff like that. This was not, this is uh, this is American Girl. So I don't know if that's uh, salvageable. So some of these things, unfortunately just had to go like the way the wind, but I still think that the box is really cool. And uh, I'm glad I picked it up in the box. So um, this is what I have. And then I have like this little playbook here. There's like a little backpack, which again, I don't know if that is actually American Girl doll. And um, this hat is not, it's just like a little 18 inch one, but I kind of put it in there to lot up anyway. And the rest of them are all marked Pleasant Company. So we have some shorts, we have like a little, um, I don't know, like a little plaid vest. Have another little hat, dress and another dress right there as well. So I will lot all of these items up together. And um, I just need to do my research on her, basically figure out exactly who she is and how old she is and exactly what she's worth. All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming along with me to today's yard sale. This one was an exciting one for me because this is just the stuff I love to find and I love to flip. Mostly because I just imagine the person on the other end feeling the way that I feel when I find them at yard sales and being super excited to have like a little piece of their childhood either back or to share with their own kids maybe. As always, if you enjoyed this video or felt like you got any value out of it at all, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Plus, if you're new here and you want to come yard sailing with me again, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can come back and hang out some more. As always, you'll find a link to my Facebook group down below as well, Thrift Nice. It's a great place to come and ask your reseller questions and get to know more people in the community. And lastly, a link to my Teespring store is down below in the description as well with lots of fun reseller and thrifting themed merchandise. All right, you guys, I will catch you the next one. Bye.